sensational matchup here. This should be a great matchup, good man. You got two guys in here that can wrestle. I'll tell you what, certainly we've had our share of excitement thus far, and this is bound to be a very exciting matchup. Uh, I thought we were going to see a scientific wrestling match. It certainly is a stunning matchup. There's no doubt about We need to know that for sure. One. All right, Jesse, who has the advantage? Two. Get the match a little bit more here. Three. My goodness, look at Four. this. Hammering away. What a three-saw matchup. Six. It started off a wrestling match, and now Seven. it's turning into a fight. Eight. Again and again and again. Nine. Well, I don't think that thing's going the other way. You would be throwing your own results. Eleven. Well, certainly, Twelve. you go off the win. Thirteen. Fourteen. Come on, ref, get in there. Oh, punch it. Well, this is all he's demonstrated here thus far. Well, maybe that was his game plan. Strictly a rough house match. Maybe he feels that by roughing the match up, it's to his advantage to gain the victory. Well, this is a three for all. You know, I like this. Yeah, because you can't complain about it. And that's where he goes. Yes, indeed. You can't complain. Having some degree of difficulty here in this matchup. Well, I knew it would be a great matchup. I mean, the guy's credentials speak for themselves. He's a winner. Rusty relies on tremendous agility and great speed. But understanding his extraordinary stamina, and I don't believe he's impressed at all. Well, I'll tell you what. There's been a precedent set here now. Obviously, this is the stronger man. So he's going to have to rely now on quickness and technique in which to secure the victory. He's not going to out-muscle his shoulder right there. He's a the stronger man is the match progresses. I wonder how much of that strength will be sapped from his body. Oh, definitely. Another one. Sensational maneuver. Two. Remarkable. I didn't think he had it in it. That's pretty hard. That's a chiropractic adjustment to higher things. I've never seen that done before quite like that. And if I haven't seen it, I know for sure you ain't. I know this is trivial, trivial but man, but this is me I can say eight. Oh, boy. That's the second time you've offended the youth of America. And you know the great thing about it? Right now, I think you're, you're really in some trouble. I could tell him how to get out of this, McMahon. Works every time. Quick thumb to the eye. You spin the man around when the ref can't see him. Come on, you're coming. Come on, we have youngsters watching this program. Thumb in the eye. That's a smart move to use everything available to you. Smart. Which is what he needs and wants to do. These are tough. I mean really tough. Now he's dropped it up. Now he's going back to some classic wrestling. And now you'll see him smart wrestling. Oh. And that's legal look, man. Interesting, and I believe thus far has proven himself to be the aggressor in this match. But I don't know that that's the way that we normally would have expected this match thus far. Well, it's hard to tell, you know, in the world of wrestling, much like the old cliche of football, on any given day, on a given wrestler can beat another different wrestler. You see that? That worked just about as good as the bump in the eye, didn't it?
entrances. The lady wrestlers at times, McMahon, seem even more vicious than some of the men wrestlers. I've never seen anyone better in women's wrestling than the Bob Angels. McMahon, I've got a question for you. What's that? What's the names of the two Bob Angels? Well, unfortunately, I, I can't speak Japanese all that well. I mean, I'm not going to speak later tonight. What do I call them? Bob Angel? It's her game. What's her name? If I'm pronouncing it correctly, it's Norino. Norino? That sounds Italian to me. Well, Jesse, I don't know. She don't look Italian. No, she doesn't. Wait a minute. Kind of reminds me of me. Yes, it reminds me of you as well. What arrogance. That's called confidence. No, that's arrogance. That's not confidence. I wonder what would mean more, winning the Jesse the Body Award or a victory? Well, I think they're both in their own way just as big. Being the winner of the Jesse the Body Award is phenomenal. It I is. mean, you'd love to win it, but then again, looking at your body, we can tell why you wouldn't. But well. then again, wrestling is the body of God. He's probably jealous he didn't win the Jesse the Body Award. As a matter of fact, he wasn't even nominated. Oh, uh, not at all. That's true. Really put together. Jesse the Body was seen years ago. That's like comparing horse manure to ice cream. Or different one kind of like me comparing my body to yours right now. Right? They have a closed down one of these days. has time to show his fans the appreciation he feels. Then a little conversation with some of the fans. Well, see, this is all, this is all psychological here. His style of match is to his advantage. Compared to me. Look at that. That's what we're going to find out here real quick. What advantage do you obtain by talking to your opponent like that? The advantage is a somehow advantage. You'll see it in boxing, you'll see it in football, you see it in wrestling. If you can get your opponent to think about what you're saying to them, well then obviously they're not going to react so well to the heat of the battle. Again, the fans try to get a little momentum. It's the last thing for to get the chair. Weasel, Bobby the Brain Heater doesn't like it at all. You find that totally funny, don't you? Quite humorous.
catch him on USA, America's favorite cable network. Resumption of our match. What about what you claim Two. is a world finish press record Three. at 712 pounds? Four. Right, what do you want to talk about? Five. Let's talk a little bit about it, Jeff. Six. Dino Bravo, who did not have you set the world finish press mark, Eight. although you claim he did. What are you talking Nine. about? Nine. You're not saying Dino Bravo is the champion, are you? You're not saying he actually lived Eleven. it that way? He did 715. Twelve. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did 13. you not reach down and help him? Fourteen. Would that wait? Would you not? Fifteen. I was just spotting him close. I did not close my hands around that bar. There's space in between that Bravo pushed it up on his own. Are you questioning my integrity, McMahon? Listen, I'm only telling you the way right. I look. It looked as though you helped him a bit. First of all, a person of your stature knows nothing about weight. Nothing. So therefore, you do not know what constitutes a legal lift. I know that when you put your hands around the bar, you I can... did not touch the bar. You what? I did not touch the bar until it was extended. Then I grabbed it. You know what? what? You keep making these assumptions, these unfounded assumptions. You might be involved in a rumble right here at the desk. Uh, When's the last time you had a fist sandwich? Jesse, it seemed to me that Mr. Bravo was having a little difficulty there in the last lift before he attempted to set the world record. What was that lift? Do you recall? That lift was approximately around 685, 675 pounds. That's an awesome lift. Definitely. He just barely got that up. No, he got that up. Right. Let me state for the record, what, McMahon. Wait a minute. I did, did not this? help on that lift. Did you see the 685 pound lift? Did you see how on the right shoulder, Jesse, it was further down? The bar was dipping down on the right side. He obviously had more power in the left. He almost didn't make it back to the rack. But he did make it back to the rack. I opened it back to the rack. And at 715, I did not assist him. You're saying that he totally locked out, which would be a legal lift, correct? No. You're saying he totally locked out, and then you assisted him. I was right down there prepared in case he didn't, but I did not offer any assistance. It'll on remain, I'm sure, an unofficial, an unofficial world of bench press. I would, expect, I would expect that from you, man. man. A little twinky like one. Oh, he's never done anything athletic in his life. If we'd have been up there reading prose or poetry, Four. you would have been ecstatic about Five. that. Five. Being its physical composition Six. and strength, you know Seven. nothing about that. That's an eight. Did you ever Nine. get the official weight on the bar? Have they weighed the bar yet? Ooh, Eleven. I heard, and this is still on the official, I heard the bar weighed out at 712. You know, Fourteen. Some of those big plates could be off by a couple pounds or so. But I heard it weighed out 16. at 712. Well, Jesse, with your assistance on the bar, 17. I think maybe it's not a six. With your assistance, I think maybe it'll go down and the record looks yes as a record. But for a tag team record, you can drop on lifting 7 12. They don't have a tag team weight lifting. I think we just saw it. I don't think so. Of course, you know, McMahon, I really should not mind you so much. You being an Ivy Leaguer, you know, the biggest thing in sports in the Ivy League was probably more efficient. That's top of the line for the Ivy League. So, uh, uh, we got high school teams right from, from the feet down. Really? Yeah. The Lowell Memorial Auditorium in Lowell, Mass. will be the setting for World Cup Federation action on Wednesday, October 15th, at 7.30 p.m. starting time. Signed to appear on the card will be the Birdman, Coco Beware, the Honky Talk Man, Kamala, the Ugandan Headhunter, Hercules Hernandez, Macho Man Randy Savage, and Jake the Snake Roberts, all headed to Lowell at the Auditorium on Wednesday, October 15th. certainly looked that way from my vantage. You know, your eyes have gotten very, very good in the last few weeks. You're seeing a lot of stuff I'm not. I don't think you want to see it. You can see all that from back here. Well, it looks like it from here. You must have to be here. Right here.
Anderson. He's had one lucky move go his way. Let me tell you something, big man. Luck is not going to win this match. You don't know that. It will be skill. Oh, <laughs> 
have to ask heaven. The only one that helped me survive. Don't set by yourself with a full power. Be a Break! Hey, Hulkamaniacs, you proved to the Hulk's one that you're a true Hulkamaniac. Now I'm going to tell you about another big one. The Hulk will be getting one day. Next time I'm trying to do it. I got me one 900 454 Hulk. You can hear my daily power pack messages, giving you the latest scoops on the WWF. Plus, you can play my Hulk Hogan WWF Wrestling Challenge game, where I'll be your manager for the match of your life. As you wrestle against the biggest and the best dudes in the WWF, you can win and be eligible for a drawing to a great prize, including a grand prize, an all-expense-paid trip to meet me in person. Remember, the cost of the call is $1.49 for the first minute and $0.99 cents for each additional minute. If you're under 18, make sure you have your mom or your dad's permission before calling. What you gonna do when Hulk Hogan and WWF Wrestling Challenge game run? We are live. What? And certainly thus far, we have had all kinds of World Wrestling Federation action. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take you back in a few moments to WrestleMania 3. 93,000 fans will be on hand in the Pontiac Silverdome. A record breaking audience, the largest indoor crowd for any event of any kind anywhere in the world. It was Andre the Giant versus Hulk Hogan. What a matchup. There was some controversy, Jesse Ventura. I feel it was more than some. Now, did you or did you not see referee Joey Morella's arm come down three times? One, two, three. That was a three count, in my opinion. The only question in my mind is whether or not he came down for a three count to simply place his hand on the mat to lift himself off and say only two, or whether or not it was indeed a third count. That must have taken you a year to take that one up. Things have changed indeed since that auspicious occasion at WrestleMania. What's unique about Indianapolis, Indiana, is I truly believe this colossal matchup, rematch between Hogan and the Giant, is going to make all the people in Indianapolis forget totally about that go-kart race they got there. What they call the Indianapolis 500, where they race around on the things and go-karts. Yes, I know what you mean, Jesse. They're hardly go-karts. Convincing individual, however, Hulk Hogan indeed does not have a price for the million dollar man, although certainly some individuals have had, and indeed we make reference to one Andre the Giant. Andre certainly has a price you have stated in the past that you would even have a price for the million dollar man. Most definitely, I think Hogan could have taken the easy way out. The man could have got into retirement very, very wealthy, never had to worry about him, his family, even his mother for that matter. He did so much money from the million well, dollar man. I think he made a mistake. My reactions are this, Hogan's a fool. He could have been a millionaire many times over. Instead, he chose that. I he must choose that. I know I'd have second thoughts. One. Andre literally choking Two. Hogan down. Hogan's an idiot. Three. And he does not have a price. That's the point. Five. Ha. Dibiase hoping indeed that someone Seven. would have a price, Eight. and he found someone who was going to have a price, who we believe was looking for the championship. What do you think Eleven. the price was that he didn't wow. I have no idea. I Thirteen. Because you get back. Fourteen. Even though Andre the Giant sold out, you get back. Fifteen. Seventeen. You know what, McMahon? I got to make this statement right now. I have never in my life seen Andre the Giant look in better shape, bigger, better. The animalistic look in his face tells me that Andre is not going to be stopped by any force in this universe, let alone Hulkamania. I have a question for you. What is Giant of Mania? What is Giant of Mania? What is Giant of Mania? Giant of Mania are all the real people out there who aren't caught up in this fantasy Hulkamania. It's the realist out Or maybe a better way to put it, you know, Hogan stands for the moral, what's called the moral majority. Yes, I'm trying to maybe I would say minority. That sounds like more like your speed. Yeah. I'm from the immoral minority. I guess the difference would be this. If you look at Hulkamania, you're going to find people like Jerry Falwell. 
If you look at Giant Mania, you'll find people like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop and think about it. The guy got by by the skin of his teeth at WrestleMania 3. Very controversial. Many people, including myself, feel Andre won it. Jack Tunney already said, both Chris Hall, respected representative. Jack Tunney said it. That's like hitting a deer in front of an disgraceful display of conduct on the part of a million dollar man, Virgil, as well as Andre the Giant. And if that's the kind of conduct he's going to display, it's a dangerous move right here, and an extremely powerful maneuver. I don't think it's that out of hand. Smart moves, you gotta think to win, but man. Ah, there's a classic mistake. Opponent isn't finished off enough, you'll get caught every time. He does not like what he sees. Close but no cigar yet. For 20 some thousand fans, what a night this has been, Jeffy. A very interesting match. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, Jesse, have you enjoyed yourself? Oh, sure. <laughs> all right, Jesse, you claim to have top billing. Go ahead. This is Jesse the Body Ventura and Vince McMahon saying good night. Heavyweight Gainer 900, satisfaction guaranteed. GNC, the authority in sports nutrition products. So, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You boys a bit bored? Let me take! Let me do sleep to you! Take to the face! Make me do the champion of children's chewables. Available at drugs, supermarket, and department stores. Toys R Us, the official headquarters for World Wrestling Federation merchandise. Main Jane reminding you that wrestling is going to be a sweeping nation. And right now, you can get great World Wrestling Federation merchandise at Toys R Us, including wrestling buddies from Tata. How would you like to hug the ultimate warrior? How would you like to bump Hulk Hogan? I'll wrestle with royalty in the Macho King, Randy Savage. Here's something I can really want to do. Ultimate Warrior Thunderbag. What about the official World Wrestling Federation ring? An official World Wrestling Federation Championship belt. And all of the great action figures from our good friends at Hasbro. Right now, at Toys R Us, when you buy World Wrestling Federation merchandise, you'll receive free autographed pictures of superstars like Hulk Hogan, The Ultimate Warrior, and, uh, and the Legion of Doom. Now you got the pictures. Hey, you guys are perfect. Perfect. Sensational. Sensational. How am I going to weasel out of this one? Weasel. Don't One, two, three. Don't three. 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 Three.